Why? <laughs> My subconscious has been hornier than usual. What? Never mind. <laughs> Stop. A it's for not. effort. No. D for effort. D minus F for effort. Power. Leadership. Innovation. I wonder if we're both looking at the moon at the same time. <gasps> oh no. How do you think I haven't been expelled yet? I get run over like once a week. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and today I'm going to be reacting to Never Have I Ever Season 4, ouch, <laughs> Episode 3 and Episode 4. I recently asked you guys in a poll on my YouTube channel if you wanted me to go back to doing two episodes per video I put out like I did in the first season or if you wanted me to keep doing one and the majority of you voted for me to go back to doing two so that is what I'm gonna do. It'll probably help me too a little bit in terms of getting through the season faster. I don't know how much that'll extend <laughs> the length of time between me posting videos but I'm hoping not too much. We shall see. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. All my affiliate links and social media links are in the description down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because that is where I post updates about these videos. I did recently just finish editing my season four, episode one and two reaction. And I realized, <laughs> I don't know if it was just like the state of mind I was in or if things were going so fast that I didn't have time to finish my thoughts, but I didn't finish quite a few of my thoughts or flesh them out well enough for you guys to understand. So Paxton at the end of the last episode randomly showed up to the school. We got one little scene with him in that whole episode saying he was late for an interview at the school. And I automatically just assumed he was applying to be a coach. He doesn't have like a degree yet, so I don't think he can get into teaching. Maybe you can do like a certificate to be a substitute or something, but I would assume he does not just automatically have that already. So I just assumed coach, especially also since he's athletic and was on the swim team. So maybe he's gonna be applying to be a swim team coach or some other sport. That's really all that was. There was also another part where I just said, oh, Columbia's in New York and they're gonna go to New York and Ben wants to go to Columbia. And that's all I said. What I meant to add to that was, I have a feeling they're going to go to New York City, visit Columbia, and Davy is going to want to go to Columbia now instead of Princeton. Apparently, I did not know where Princeton was. <laughs> Because finally I was like, let me just look it up. Because I was under the assumption that it was somewhere in Tennessee or North Carolina or Virginia or something. Somewhere on the East Coast, but not close to Columbia or New York City in general. <laughs> Turns out I was very wrong. It's in New Jersey. It's literally an hour away from Columbia, from New York City. So like, even if she does still decide to go to Princeton, she will still be close to Ben at Columbia. I'm assuming Ben will also get into Columbia. And I like that idea because I want them to end up together. We've already established that, but I just wanna make that point clear. That's why I'm freaking out about all this college stuff. And also, I mean, even on the trip, if you look at the roster for like all the places they're going, they're going to make a stop at Princeton. So I just really hope that this trip happens because I want to see that. But yeah, me freaking out and hoping that Davey will want to go to Columbia was a bigger deal when I thought that Princeton was not anywhere near there, but it is. So it would be cool for her to decide to go to Columbia all of a sudden, and then they both end up going there together. <laughs> but even if she goes to Princeton, she will still be an hour away from him. That's insane. That's insane. All right, season four, episode three. Also still in denial that we are in the final season, but I'm still just, again, denying. Never have I ever liked a bad boy. And the thumbnail is of Davy and Eleanor. You know, <laughs> I think I did say in my last video that like Eleanor either needs to just decide she doesn't like this kid or get back with Trent. But I actually kind of want some conflict here between them. I kind of do. <laughs> I, I need to shake things up a little bit, okay? Detention? Why am I in detention? This is a dream. For being bad? Why? <laughs> Damn, Davy. The baddest part about you is that you're betraying your friend. 
it's so hot how you're stabbing her in the back. Her feelings are gonna be so hurt. <laughs> wow, but then turn into a scolding. Yeah. Not a great sex dream, Davey. No. <laughs> that was pretty damn hot though, but yeah. <laughs> Can I be late this morning? All right, so she's fully in it. Whoa. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Len recommended a fantastic contractor to me. I want more Len, I want more Len. All right, yeah. Oh no! I was literally just about to say, hey, I also want a new love interest for the mom. I don't know about this though. This would be so weird. That's okay. We can wait. Mom, I can't find my map. <gasps> Alright. That could have been done better. What the hell? <laughs> she hadn't been able to get him out of her head ever since. Davy's kind of sexy. I don't like the way he said sexy. My gut says he wasn't fully committed to that word. <laughs> don't ask me why. Avoid Ethan at all. Yo, oh crotch. my god, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the My head. dick? Sure you didn't. It wasn't even near... What? Okay. So I did see you. I wasn't sure. My subconscious has been hornier than usual. What? Never mind. <laughs> Stop. My first day is the assistant swim coach. Swim coach, yep. But for real, what are you doing here? I'm the assistant swim coach. <laughs> what about ASU? I know. It wasn't the right place for me. How would you know? You were there for, like, what, two weeks? Thank you. You needed to face that and figure it out and try it. It's actually kind of elitist of you. Oh, no, no, no. This is him running away from his problems and I'm not okay with it. Have you given it more time before you, you know, gave up? Wait, I know I'm an adult. Really I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're watching to see if Ethan takes off his hoodie because it's going to cling and pull up his t-shirt. I'm actually just eating this apple. Wait, he actually... Oh, he just fully took off his shirt. <laughs> this was the answer to a current problem. Get if Eleanor was together. Ethan's girlfriend, he'd be officially off limits. Oh, you think that that would make it better? Just go over there and talk to him. Yeah. Oh no, but if he actually likes Davy more than he rejects Eleanor, that's gonna be even worse. Dude, corner office nice. Reunion. Get used to it. Uh oh. This is interesting though, but picking up on a titch of melancholy. What's wrong, my number one rock star? Oh no, I gotta watch this. I gotta watch this. Do you think I made a mistake leaving college so soon? Yes. Are you freaking joking? No way. <laughs> Look at you. Since when is Trent right? I'm sorry, Trent, but since when are you right? Don't listen to Davy. She hangs out with people who break nice boys' hearts. You broke up with Eleanor. Yeah, but I definitely don't look up at the sky every night wondering if Eleanor is looking at the same moon that I am. <laughs> or different moon. My bicycle exploded. How does it keep happening? Ah, oh, I'm not ready for these two to be in a scene together. Wait, is this lit class? Yeah, I see literature back there. But in the last episode, they didn't show him as being in that class. What the heck? I hate when they do stuff like this. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Thompson, and I'll be taking over AP Lit for a little while. Young teacher. I'd like for you guys to pair up and discuss its relevancy today. Um, how about you two? Pair oh. Up? Why don't you tell me how you can relate to a story about falsely accusing someone of something and almost ruining your life? Oh my god, I said I'm sorry. This is just how it has to be for now. She doesn't have to be this threatened. She does know her sex was bad, right? Shh. Jesus. They keep pressing on that. I'm just dying to engage with more of my peers. Let's all pull our desks into a fucking Yeah, you'd think he just wouldn't even sit near her to begin with. So that he wouldn't have to interact with her at all. Oh. Oh my god. They're completely redoing it? Before you send your husband after me, oh, let no, me no. See, there is no husband. I'm perfectly capable of slapping someone on my own. <laughs> he doesn't even know that she's a widow. My crew will be here first thing in the morning with wood that is a 90% bug skeletons. Sound good? Okay, so then what are they all doing right now if they don't have the wood to put it in now? Oh, hi. That was quick. Just chilling, so. Cool. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. She's the one that didn't want to break up. No. Hey, I'm glad you all made it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. What a fet. I bought a bottle of vermouth. Where should I put it? Vermouth? What are you supposed to do with that? Man, this party is exactly what I needed. Amen. German Oaks for life. This is, I feel like he's going to come off as super lame. Really, dude? 
Just go hang out with Fab. What are you doing out here by yourself? He clearly is, is interested cool in her. Chill with you? Okay. It was like really cute too. They look good together. Wanna make out? <laughs> I don't know if we should. Davy. Well, A gotta, for effort. No. D for effort. D minus F for effort. <sighs> She's gotta have more self control by now. Explain what? The concept of betrayal? I think Ethan likes me. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> he kissed me too. Oh. 15 minutes ago, right by the fridge, he also kissed me. Oh, this is even better. This is even better. Okay. I just caught Davy kissing Ethan. But you were just kissing Ethan by the fridge. Ew, I don't like that. He's dead to me. I've already forgotten how good of a kisser he is. Yeah, I guess I can avoid him too. That should, what he did to you guys should be enough for you to want to stay away from him. Why does this joke It's been five days without stairs. Oh, I'm not surprised Bro. he scammed us. Got the address. He's at 4124 Arroyo Avenue in Calabasas. Go get him. Good morning, staff. I'll try to make this brief. <sighs> Weird. I'd like to officially welcome back Mr. Paxton Hall Yoshida. They all started clapping before she finished what she, okay. Mr. Paxton Hall Yoshida. Mr. Paxton Hall Yoshida. Our new sub, Lindsay Thompson. Yes. <gasps> Cute. Cute. Yes, I already can see it. Okay. I actually just finished college and I'm excited to educate some- Oh, so I guess she's a little older, huh? Still. The cricket might have been borrowed for a non-school related beer party. It might be under the bleachers, covered in puke. <gasps> Terrific. <laughs> Why would he say beer party? Dummy. Dummy. It must be crazy coming back to your high school as a teacher. Mm. Not really. Oh, you don't feel like an old loser yet? No one's roasted you? Uh, no. No, because it's not... We're not quite there yet. We'll get there soon. Ethan was blissfully unaware of the drama surrounding him. Give him hell. You need to yell at him for doing that shit. Pretty fun hanging out at my party, huh? Until I found out that you kissed my best friend right before you kissed me. Thank you. You found out about that? I saw you sitting outside and I was like, I kind of want to kiss you right now. So I did. Right after kissing someone else. Come out to the parking lot during lunch. I'll do a trick for you. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like really buying into the fact that he's cool and then he just says something like that. You know I don't care if you talk to her, right? This whole silent treatment thing was your idea. It's just easier this way. She just always complicates things. Okay, that actually makes sense, but if Ben decided to do that and I was Margo, I wouldn't try to convince him otherwise. <laughs> uh, why'd you go out there? That was so obviously not that actor. Eleanor. Hey, what's up? How are we gonna solve this? Simple, you give him to me. He's a dick. You got dumped by a guy who loved you so much that he proposed to you. The person who took my virginity ditched me for someone else. I can't get into this. One real <gasps> You kissed somebody already? He was there that whole time? Oh. Hello, KTLA Live at five. We are submitting some hard hitting footage for your scam buster segment. What is you going see on? This? <laughs> I was planning on coming back next week. Ne next week? Yeah, that's not okay. I know there's a real reason, but still. I'm not unprofessional, okay? I just happen to be a little spiteful. <laughs> I wouldn't call that professional. I promise I'll be there first thing tomorrow. No, don't make up yet, guys. I need more conflict. Ethan, he's yours. I think I just missed Trent and wanted a distraction. I mean, that's obvious, but... She still shouldn't. She should not date Ethan. But I do think about him a lot. Especially at night. I wonder if we're both looking at the moon at the same time. <gasps> I love that. I love that. Paxton was like here for the weekend or something, but it turns out he's actually working at the school now. It's like 
Yeah. It's like freaking pathetic. I'm not saying I agree with them. I'm just saying I knew that was something that people would think. Let's see if you wanted to hang out. God damn. Only if you don't kiss my friends, though. I got a little greedy, but I like you. He's really good looking, though. I'll give him that. <laughs> that was good. I like that they did the conflict. I don't like that they made it so he kissed both of them. <laughs> Which means it's gonna take me a while to warm up to this kid. Yeah. Because that's... Not to jump to conclusions, but that is cheating behavior, sir. And I'm worried about that. The Trent and Eleanor thing was so f***ing cute. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into episode four. Never have I ever wrecked my future. I don't like the sound of that. I don't, I, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Why would I want that to happen? Ethan wasn't good at school or polite to adults. Oh! <laughs> Our good girl is actually dating a bad boy. Mm, she's not really a a good girl. I was thinking maybe we could. Oh, wow. How long have they been dating? Okay. Have you ever done this before? It didn't go so great. That's because you didn't have sex with me. I don't understand how this man is so suave. Of course, of course. It would be a good experience. In the last episode, he talked about how he just recently started getting all this female attention and got hot. So how is he just already good at sex? Whatever. The shifter focus away from emissions toward admissions. I didn't like that joke. Because today was the college fair, baby. And she was determined to make an incredible first impression. Uh, I'm nervous for where this episode's gonna go. You look like a little business lady. It's hot. I can't believe they already had sex. I want to discuss who you're choosing to spend your time with. I just don't want anything or anyone to drag you down. That is none of your damn business, ma'am. I don't like that. Parents don't usually attend these college check-ins. It's a big decision, so I thought we could all tackle it together as a team. Okay. I feel like she's going to take control. <laughs> I think Fab should apply early to an Ivy. Okay. Well, I can't do Princeton. That's Davy school. So I'm sure she would love for you two to go to school together. Oh, no. You cannot count out a world-class institution because your friend called Dibs. That's actually really nice of Fabiola. But Fabiola doesn't even want to go. Fair of her mom to say that if she did want to go deep down. Guess who's back from LASIK? Oh, Andres is just patching the drywall upstairs. Didn't you already have him fix the stairs and then redo the garage? I mean, the house needs to be updated, right? <laughs> I just talked to the ASU rep for like five seconds, so I basically went through as long as you did. <laughs> yeah, that's real funny, bro. Actually, it is. <laughs> also, the fact that Paxton left college so quickly means that tuition money is gone. If there was tuition money. But still, it's wasted either way. He should have at least finished. Yeah, right. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Looks bad. Um, there's a line. I'm Devi Vishu Kumar. Who is she? Who is she? Baby, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm Akshara, and I was actually talking. She's from Vampire Diaries. Okay. I'm. And you're. Mm -hmm. Indian. Oh my gosh. Vana come to you too. <laughs> yeah, you're still gonna need to wait in line. Yeah, this actually looks worse than if you had just waited in line. <laughs> I think I understand you pretty well already. Hmm. Come on, girl. What the hell just happened? I don't know why you thought that was okay to do. See? Ben's not a dumbass. <laughs> God, look at him. <laughs> then just walk away. Okay. I really need to figure out how I'm gonna fix this. So you follow her to her car, and then when she starts to back up, you let her run you over just a little bit, and then she'll feel <laughs> bad and give you whatever you want. What? Does that actually work? No, don't do that. How do you think I haven't been expelled yet? I get run over like once a week. <laughs> Sometimes 
lines. I love how he delivers lines. Thought I needed to say everything that I'm good at, which I realize now is very unlikable. I'm glad you realized that. <laughs> Bye. You must be the Princeton lady. Oh no. What's this beautiful bonehead about to do? Something good. I just wanted to emphasize what a sick student she is. The honor roll list. Took it off the wall at the principal's office. <laughs> She's at the top of it. Okay. Well, impressive, baby. It's really not. It's impressive that he did that, but the honor roll is not impressive. Make sure to enjoy it because there truly are none of those in Ivy League schools. She was also a badass in Vampire Diaries. <sighs> Party, how long have I been asleep? Who is that? Not about three hours. <laughs> Len? Yes! Len is a great caretaker. Oh, Ranveer is doing a shirtless dance. I'll be home soon. <laughs> Damn. Look at all that. I am the king of staying home during the day. Please hand me the saltiest snack. Oh, you want me to hold it for you? <laughs> okay. Did Columbia offer you admission right there on the spot? Ah, uh, the line was too long. I'm just gonna wait till after lunch. Are you okay? Why don't you do your speech for me? Maybe that'll help you loosen up. <clears throat> Power, leadership, innovation, domination. Okay, that was good. I knew it. You're judging. Yes, I am. Criticism is not what I need right now. No. Oh. Uh, shit. Um. Margo, just stop. I Go to Lost and Found. I actually do think I've got Here, it. Just walk away. How many times do I have to tell you that Margo doesn't want us- Want us to talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know that was your decision. Mm -hmm. Let her help you. You seem like right? a woman's medium. No, go in the bathroom! Davy. <sighs> this was unnecessary. That's gonna fit him? I never thought I'd be so grateful yeah. you're built like a shot putter. Um, please? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. This music is so unnecessary. This is not a big deal. Listen. Uh, yeah, 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 we're still not friends, I get it. I talked to Harvard and Yale, I just need to grab a brochure from Princeton so my mom will get off my flipping case. Yeah, just a, if you don't care about any of these schools, just apply to one of the other ones, like Harvard. I'm only applying to acting conservatories. I'm only here <laughs> to study regional accents. <gasps> Ooh, University of Iowa, BRB. That was random. Okay, but Carnegie Mellon is reputable. There you go. Wait, are you on the robotics team? Princeton has a phenomenal robotics team. Sorry to geek out, but this year they're building a fully functioning BB-8 droid, like from The Force Awakens. You can do that at another school. I don't want this to happen. I really don't. All right, Ben, step it up. Can I help you? Huh? No, no, this this isn't my shirt. Excuse me? I had to borrow a girl's shirt. Did you sweat through the first shirt? That happens all the time at these things. I actually got a bunch of paint on myself when I was... Sweating through my shirt. Much rather talk to someone who's just being themselves. Really? Because normally I don't trust my natural personality. Fair. <laughs> so why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay. I really hope he gets into Columbia. <sighs> you were so freaking amazing. Okay. Relax. Sure. <gasps> Bro! You stole her wallet? Why do you have Akshara's wallet? Because I stole it. She was a bitch and she deserved it for icing you out. But she wasn't a bitch. Oh my god. You are a dirtbag. I didn't really want this to end quite yet, but okay. It's a little harsh. Ethan, I think I'm now having a moral awakening. Bummer. So you're dumping me. Mm -hmm. This will actually look good for you, though, because you have to give the wallet back. Just leave the wallet in that potted fern and run. No, give the She's wallet gonna back. She's going to think you're a psycho. No. I have your wallet. Oh. It was brave bringing this back to me, not knowing if I was going to press charges. Was that on the table? I was joking. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Money. Money. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get him. Am I a loser now? What? Don't you dare talk about my best baby boy like that. Make them remember who the alpha is. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's not necessary. That uh, little ASU joke back there was pretty funny, huh? Yeah, remember? 
Everyone who heard it laughed. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> if you ever speak to me like that again, I'll give you Saturday detention for the rest of the year. See, I can make your life miserable if I want to. I feel like that wasn't quiet enough. Like, obviously, everyone's still right there. They saw that. Party, is that you? I can't talk about <gasps> No! <sighs> He's cheating. Was there someone else here? Nope, just good old Len. Your grandma should be home in about 10 minutes. How do you know 10 minutes? Who the hell was that? Hurt somebody. Uh, the neighbors love to talk and loud. I don't like that. Uh! Why do they have to ruin every character they introduce? Every male character they introduce. <laughs> I am so proud of you, honey. You're gonna be glad you did this. Come on, Fabiola. You could have come home that day. All right, sure, that's the end. I don't like that. You could have come home and been like, oh, wait, I really want to apply to Yale. Let me apply to Yale. I don't like that. But, oh, I did kind of forget that that lady was explaining how cool their robotics team was. So maybe that's true. I don't know. Still, ugh. and she already had doubts about going to an IV anyway. So why would, those just automatically go away. That part annoyed me. Yeah, I wish that, ah, I wish that scene with Paxton being intimidating would have been shot better. I didn't like that. He should have like pulled him to the side and been a lot quieter. Pulled him to the side casually and been a lot quieter. Cause that way he just like all of a sudden got up in his face while everyone else was still just right there watching them already. Yeah, it wasn't as intimidating. Could have been better, but I'm just not. <laughs> I'm mad now that I realized that. I'm not gonna get over the tuition thing. I don't know if he got a full ride to ASU or what his scholarship situation or loan situation was, but I would guess he didn't get a full ride, which means there was some amount of money put towards that tuition and then he just left. Like he really should have stuck it out. Lame. At least for a semester. Like you can get through six months if it's really that bad. You, uh, yeah. Well, I don't, let me not overgeneralize, but we saw the severity it was for him. He could have gotten through six months of that. I really liked that episode though. I liked all the stuff with the colleges, all the connecting there that everyone did. And I liked the little scene with Davy and Ben. I kind of wish the show had been more casual about it because it was casual. It was meaningful, but it was casual. It wasn't a big deal. And if the show had played into that, I think I would have appreciated it more. Whereas they tried to build it up into this big thing and it's really not. It felt a little forceful, I would say. Also kind of bummed out. Yeah, I wish they had just extended Ethan one more episode, just one more episode. I do like the way they ended it. <laughs> I realize, I do realize the irony in me literally just saying, he's a terrible person and you shouldn't want to go out with him anymore after all this stuff with Eleanor happened. But now being upset that it's over. I get it. I get it. I don't care. And I do still wish it had gone on for one more episode. Because I feel like ugh, a big downfall of this show is that whenever it gives us some type of good connection or something good, it doesn't let it last very long. Typically doesn't let it last for like more than an episode or two, which doesn't make things very meaningful. I like her coming to the realization that he's a terrible person. I just wish it had come one episode later so that we got a little more time of her being happy. <laughs> it's more so about, I want things extended so that she can experience what a more developed relationship is like, and we can get to the meatier problems of a more serious relationship. Whereas a lot of her relationships have been super short. I mean, I know she's <laughs> still in high school, but I would like just one of those. I would like it to happen once. Maybe if it had happened with Paxton, I would be more okay with this being short, but her and Paxton didn't last long either. But regardless, I did really like that episode, had some good jokes, I liked the storylines, uh, I liked everything that we explored. Oh my god, the next episode! Yes! Yes! Okay. The next episode I just saw is Never Have I Ever Been to New Jersey, which means she's going on the- excuse me. She's going on the New York trip, which I'm very excited for. I was a little worried that this show wouldn't do that for budget reasons. Not that they will necessarily actually go to New York, but 
this would be a whole set design, production design type thing. Bigger budget is necessary to do something like this. So I was a little worried that they weren't going to do this, but it looks like they are. And I'm very excited for it. Very excited. Uh, but until then, <laughs> that is going to be it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on all social media. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.